Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. So for today's video, a couple weeks ago, I did a massive PR unboxing. And in that video, I had showed you guys this massive PR box that I got from Ace Beauty. And this box is full of nothing but their newest, like oh, perfect lipstick collection. So I figured for today's video, I would sit here and swatch every single color and give you guys my genuine thoughts on this lipsticks, lip liner, lip glosses, everything they have in here. So if you guys wanna see me swatch everything from the Ace Beauty Pout Perfect Collection, well then definitely keep watching. Guys, my lips are in for a treat. It has been a long time since I sat down and done like a lip swatch video. So I'm just gonna dive on in because I'm sure this is gonna be a long video. My lips are gonna freaking hate me, but we are going to swatch every single lipstick on here. I'm gonna show you guys the shade, tell you guys my thoughts, and yeah, so let me go ahead and get you guys zoomed on in. Okay guys, so whenever I do this video, I tend to not wear any makeup because whenever I swatch it off my face, sometimes it likes to spread and I just feel like by doing a full range of lip swatches, my lips are gonna get really red, they're gonna get really chapped and it's just gonna really mess up my makeup. So I figured why not just like leave my face blank today, I had nothing on but moisturizer and then we're gonna try out all the products and I'll come back with a full face and tell you guys which one's my favorite. I do want you guys to know that I actually do have a code with Ace Beauty. It's just code Allie, which will save you guys 10% off your purchase. So that's really cool. That's exciting. So first things first, we do have their lip liners right here. Now there are only four lip liners, at least four that they had sent me. So they come in this packaging right here. Now I'm not going to swatch lip liners on my lips because I don't, um, I don't, I don't do like one of those like liners that people do where they like line their entire lip. Like I just line the outer side, but I don't fill it in with lip liner. Typically I don't. So there's no point in me like showing that on my lips today. So instead I'm just gonna swatch these on my hand and then we're going to swatch all the liquid lips, all the lipsticks, and then just the one gloss because there seems to be only one gloss. So <laughs> that makes it just a little easier. Okay guys, so here are the lip liners right here. I think the packaging is super cute, although this is just a little bulky. So putting in my collection is just gonna be a little weird. I do think it's really cute. There are four shades, so I'll go over the shades for you guys. I have them swatched right here. The very, very first shade we have is the shade So Right, which is gonna be this top shade you guys see right here. Then we have the shade In Love, which is going to be this swatch right here, followed by the shade Mid Priority right there. And then the last shade we have is the shade Nailed It. So those are the four swatches of the lip liners. So now we're gonna move on to the entire liquid lipsticks. Like this is a lot guys, this is a lot. My lips are going to absolutely hate me, but we are gonna make this work. Um, <laughs> I'm a little nervous because it's been such a long time since I've swatched um, lips like this. So the first shade we're gonna go into, so first off I wanna do appreciate the packaging. I think the packaging is super cute. And I like how it just kind of like pulls out like this. And then you do have the component on the inside. Now this is really separated. Mind you, I got sent this, I got sent this like a while ago, but I'm just now getting to it. So even though it's like separated like this, all you have to do is just kind of tap it. And then it kind of just goes right back. So first off the packaging on this again is super cute. I love the fact that it does match the lip liner right here. It's very bulky. It has a nice heaviness to it. Like it really does feel like luxurious. I really do like how that looks. And then this shade right here, this is the shade Manifest. So what I'm gonna do this is I'm just gonna come back on camera with this shade on my lips as well as my hand. And then we're gonna move on to the next one because I have so many to swatch. I don't know the formula of these. I don't know how they dry down. I haven't seen any reviews on them. Um, I'm sure they're out there, but I just wanted to do something a little different today where I just have fun playing with lipsticks, swatch them for you guys, and then give you guys like my opinion on them. So first shade we're gonna go into is the shade called Manifest. Okay, so here is the shade Manifest. First off, I wanna talk about how the component is super cute. You take off the wand right here and like just look at the shape. The shape is actually pretty unique. I like that it really kind of like contours and like hugs the lip. It really makes it so easy. I don't notice a smell to it at all, but it is drying down pretty nicely. I wanna kind of wait to see how it fully dries down before I tell you guys my opinion on it. But here's shade Manifest. Now this is definitely a shade that I typically would not wear by itself because 
well, it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> it's just not one I wear by itself, but it's definitely a color that I would use as like a topper, like a mixer where I put on like a deeper lip and then I would top that on in the center to blend it out, to give you like a really ombre lip or kind of give like your lip like a spotlight or make it look more pouty. This is the shade that I would go for, but the, this is the shade that I would go for, but this is the shade Manifest. It's definitely drying down, but it's not like dry if that makes sense like I feel it definitely settling down but it's not like you know uncomfortable it just feels like I'm wearing a chapstick it's nothing that ugh. it's nothing that like it's gonna make me go ooh, this sucks because I don't like it when a liquid lip makes my lips feel super dry and cracky like I'm in a Sahara desert you know I don't like that but I like it when they feel like I'm wearing like a chapstick um, and it has like a nice hydration feeling to it so I'm, I'm enjoying the formula so far but obviously I don't have time to sit here and let this one fully dry down. I'll definitely let you know later on in the video when I pick out the color I'm gonna wear for my makeup look. I'll let you know then truly how I feel about the formula. But so far, the formula based on first impressions, I'm enjoying it. It feels really nice, very, very comfortable. So that is the shade Manifest. I do wanna let you guys know that Manifest is classified as like a peachy nude shade. Okay, so click Editor Alley. I'm just gonna pop it and say, this next shade, I kept saying, <laughs> I kept saying applesauce. <laughs> I didn't even question it. I didn't even question it. It's actually called applause. <laughs> oh my god. I said applesauce the entire time. I'm such a fucking idiot. Okay, I was starving when I was filming this. I hadn't eaten breakfast. And uh, so yeah, just know this next part. I keep saying applesauce. It's applause. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so right here we do have the shade Applesauce and this is classified as a warm brick brown tone. These do retail for $17 a piece, by the way, which is actually a really fantastic price point. Now, I have to say, I absolutely love this color. This color is everything to me. It definitely has like an orangey brown feel. And for me, this is like a perfect fall lip. You can mix this lip with like a deeper brown ooh, or like a nice fall eye it is going to be perfection. This is such a gorgeous color. I love the way that this looks. Granted, it looks kind of funky right now because I don't have anything else on, but I will say just by using this color, I'm like, oh, I am loving how this looks. Again, it is drying down very, very comfortably. I'm not having any issues with it. It's not, you know, making my lips feel dry in the slightest. It is actually very, very comfortable. It does transfer, so there is something that you should take note that it does transfer, but it's really nice. Like I'm really enjoying the formula of that. So that is the shade applesauce. So here is the shade good vibe, which is going to be classified a tangerine nude. And y'all again, I am living for this brown lips. This looks like doo doo on my lips. This literally looks straight up. Like I, someone shed on my lips like doo doo and I freaking am living for this color. It is so beautiful because again, this is that perfect fall lip. This is getting me so excited for fall. Obviously you guys know I love fall so much and I just think that this color is so stunning and I definitely think that it would mix well with the other two colors that I've already used with applesauce and manifest. I feel like this would really blend out beautifully and it's very similar to the Jaclyn Cosmetics Gratitude Liquid Lip. It's very similar in color and I just really am enjoying this color lip. So that is super freaking pretty. I actually really like that one a lot. What I'm also appreciating is my lips are looking a little funny right now. I'm appreciating how easy it is to come off. Like it's actually wiping off really easy. So it's not clinging to the lip, leaving like streakiness, making it very difficult to come off. Like it's not making it difficult at all. So I really am appreciating that as well. Okay, we're not gonna judge the fact that my lip swatches are freaking horrible because I'm not really trying. But this is this shade called um, Eshiro, Sahiro. This is a terracotta, this is a terracotta red right here. Um, uh, it's okay. This one's definitely not my favorite. Like it's kind of like a, like a, a reddish brown. And uh, I don't know, definitely not my favorite color at all, but it's not bad. Again, it mixed really, really well with those lip colors. But yeah, this is the shade S Hero, S Hero. I don't know how to say it. This is probably the worst lip swatch I've done so far, but this is the shade Empower, and this is supposed to be considered a classic red. And I would say that this formula feels a little bit drier than the rest. Um, it says that the formula is nearly weightless. Your lips will stay looking beautiful all day long with no cake or crack in sight. Plus the velvet matte air whipped formula glides on easily and dries down instantly to lock in color, ensuring smudge resistant 
carefree wear. So that's a description of these products. And it definitely has like a whipped formula. I was not expecting that because I'm used to a different type of formula when it comes to liquid lips. Like Manny's just is so creamy and wet until it dries down. This just felt like really dry putting it on the lips. So I was kind of like, ooh, let me make sure I mix it up right. So it definitely has like a nice, it definitely has like an airy dryness to it where you can just definitely feel it's just settled on. You don't have to wait for a full long dry time. Definitely does transfer, it doesn't stick. It still feels very comfortable on the lips. I will give it that. It is very, very comfortable. Um, I will not say this is my favorite red though. This is definitely a classic red. I love more of a, like a blood red where it has like a purple red undertone, but it's still really pretty nonetheless. Horrible swatch of it. I mean, I look like, I look like it. <laughs> I look like it. I love it, but yeah, so. De definitely again a beautiful shade for the shade range it's very comfortable formula i'm enjoying the formula and that's what kind of like what i'm looking for it's like how does a formula wear because this is really nice like the formula is really nice and i'm enjoying that this is why i don't do this is why i don't wear makeup with lip swatches because of this i look even more like a clown all right, that one definitely does have the potential to stain, just a heads up. Okay, so this is the shade called Own It. This is a rich, deep brown, and this is freaking stunning. Again, this is a gorgeous fall lip. I love how this looks. This would pair so well with applesauce tapped on top of it, and then take a little bit of Manifest to do like a little pout. This will be a perfect, perfect, perfect combination. This is a stunning color. I love the way this looks. And again, this is perfect for fall. These are beautiful, beautiful nude lips. These are perfect everyday wearing lips, but I would definitely say particularly these are perfect for fall as well and winter, but like fall is just like where it's at. And this is a stunning color. I really, really love that color. Okay. So the last shade we have is a shade called date night. And this is a deep burgundy shade right here. Very beautiful. But I just want to show one thing to you guys. I did this on purpose. Do you see how it's like patchy on my lips? Like how not everything is seamless. This is like something that I deal with when it comes to deep liquid lips is that you got to be careful about how you apply it. You don't want it to get really streaky. Maybe real biff too soon, you can spread the product. You see how it's spread right there and it could really show patchiness on your lips. So you wanna make sure that when you're going in with a, with a dark product like this, you kind of start off light handed and you slowly build it up to the consistency that you want, the look that you want. That's how it is for every single liquid lip, especially when it comes to deep shades. So right here, you can see where it's definitely streaky. This is when I'd have to go back in and um, add some more product or cover it with a gloss or I should have gone in light handed. But I specifically did this way to show you guys what I'm talking about, the patchiness. It's not about the product at all. Any sort of liquid lip that I have will do the exact same thing if it's dipped deep in this color, like Jack and Cosmetics does it to me. So that's when you wanna go in very, very light. Like I'm talking about very light and just go back in and Fix those areas, settle down before you try to like blend your lips together. But yeah, this is that shade. This is again, a very, very, very gorgeous shade. I freaking love this. This pairs so well with all the other colors in this line. So that is it for the liquid lip collection. Now we're gonna move on to the lipsticks. Then we have lip glosses and a lip oil. And then that completes the entire like pout perfect collection. But I will say so far, I'm actually thoroughly impressed with how this formula is. I'm very particular when it comes to liquid lip formulas. It's I'm not the biggest fan of them. They have to be one that's like not fully not fully mattifying they have to be like a semi-matte or demi-matte so they don't fully dry down so they're more comfortable they don't cling on to the dry patches of the lips they don't make your lips feel super chapped and dried i want to have something that's very hydrating very moist very rich in moisture and just makes my lips feel like i had nothing on them or like i'm wearing a chapstick and i can safely say with this whip formula it's actually giving me that same vibe and i'm really enjoying that so this is all the shades in the liquid lip in the liquid lip range now i'm gonna move on to the lipsticks Okay, so moving on to the lipsticks right here. My lips look really dry because I did um, exfoliate them just a minute ago and I put on like kind of foundation, try to tone down the redness. <laughs> but it says that with the, pout, pout, with the pout perfect lipstick in your life, it's never been easier to coat your lips in a soft, comfortable color. The innovative creamy satin formula conditions your lips for a hydrated feel while delivering high impact pigments that will stay all day. Wear it on its own or pair it with our perfect pout lip liner for perfect for precision and definition that keep your lips locked. And these do retail for $15 and there are five shades in the shade range. So the first shade we're gonna start off, the first shade we're gonna start off with is the shade Sincere. 
Again, this is how the component looks. Very unique, definitely stands out. You pull it up and then you're gonna have the lipstick right here. So this is the shade Sincere. I'm so excited to try this out. I'm not the biggest lipstick person fan. I'm more of just like a liquid lip or a lip gloss. I find lipsticks not to be the easiest for me to work with, but we're definitely gonna make it work today. Okay, so here is that shade Sincere right here. And I have to say that this lipstick formula is very comfortable. It feels extremely hydrating. My lips right now are very sore. My lips right now are very sensitive because I've been taking off and swatching on lipstick. So it's taking on, taking on and off liquid lipstick. So it's definitely very sensitive. And this is definitely soothing my lips. Like this is making my lips feel very calm and very hydrated. And I'm really enjoying how my lips are feeling right now. This is super, super com comfortable. You guys can see that nice high shine to it. I'm sure it does like settle down just a bit but it's very, very comfortable. And this color isn't too bad. It's a color I would never wear it by itself. It's just not flattering on me to wear it by itself, but I think mixing it with a liquid lip or mixing it with a lip liner can really give you that beautiful definition. I think with this particular color, I would use this as again, just like a pout color, but it is still really beautiful. This is that shade Sincere. This is a perfect neutral lip. It's actually classified as a neutral peachy nude. That is the shade Sincere. Okay, so this shade right here, this is the shade called Confidence, and this is a dark brown with red undertones. Ooh, she's a dark brown. She's definitely a dark brown. I really do love the way this looks. I think it's a really beautiful color, absolutely. The only thing I'm not the biggest fan of is the physical like application. Do you guys see the shape of that? It makes it a little bit difficult for me because like you have to kind of like go in like this and move it out but I like to turn my lip and like blend it, move it out this way. So it doesn't necessarily fully define my lip the way that I want it to. And with lipsticks, because they are kind of big and chunky, I tend to get them everywhere. I can't really ever stay in the line. I've never been in that. I've never been that child that can color in the line. So I'm not the biggest fan of the shape of it, but I will say I really do enjoy this formula. It's a very, very comfortable formula. And I like that it does have a high shine to it. It makes it so that I don't even have to put on a lip gloss. Like I don't even need to, because it's literally giving me the shine that I'm looking for with the comfortability of a gloss, but with a, with a pigment of a liquid lip. So I'm really actually enjoying this. And that's a shocker to me because if you guys know me, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of lipsticks. I never have been. And I'm actually thoroughly impressed with this line so far. This is super comfy, super freaking comfy. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. So right here we have the shade upgrade, and this is going to be a deep cocoa brown shade. So just a little bit deeper than that shade confidence, but this is a very, very, very gorgeous color. Like I definitely know, I definitely feel like this would be gorgeous on deep skin tones. Ugh, the way that these would just be like fucking stunning. Oh my God, these would be so freaking gorgeous on, on deep skin tones. But I think that these are absolutely beautiful. You know what's so funny is that I had talked about in a recent anti-hauler is that I talked about the new like Juvia's Place like Nile collection and they had a whole range of deep, dark brown lipsticks that I was like, ooh, I kind of want to get those. But now that I'm trying this, I absolutely do not need to because this is freaking stunning. This is a gorgeous ass color. And the fact that like someone like me who does not have a deep skin tone, I feel like I can rock this color the same way that someone with a deep skin tone can. It's very universal. It's very fucking flattering. And I'm so impressed with how this looks. And the formula on this again is just Wow, I'm really enjoying this, guys. This is super freaking nice. Okay, so next we have the shade Gratitude, the shade right here, which is going to be a rich brick brown. And oh my God, if this ain't the prettiest freaking shade ever, like this is absolutely stunning. Again, the swatches are not that good, guys. I'm not really trying to make them perfect, but holy shit, I, I love this color. I love this color. It looks so much just like the applesauce, just a little bit richer in color. Oh, this is perfection. This is my perfect like mm, fall lip and then take a little bit of Manifest, tap it in there and ooh, you have the perfect combination. This is absolutely stunning. I think this is by far my favorite. Like just the color of it alone, it just makes me so excited for fall. I'm like, I, oh, I'm so excited. It makes me so excited for fall. Last but not least, we do have the shade Best Life, which is a dark red. I don't really see how it's red, but it is right there. Again, I'm horrible at swatches. And I have to say, this looks more burgundy to me than it does red, but I really do like about this. Remember how I just showed you guys how the burgundy has those issues? I don't have that issue here. 
that's fantastic, which means I don't have to sit here and go over it again and again and again to get the perfect shade. This is already doing it for me. And again, it has that nice shine like a gloss. This is so freaking pretty. I would say it's more burgundy than a deep red, but this is a really stunning shade. So that is everything for their lipstick line. Now we do have a lip oil and two lip glosses. So I'm trying the lip glosses followed by the lip oil, and then I'm gonna create a makeup look and I'm gonna be kind of inspired off one of these. But so far I'm thoroughly impressed with this collection. I wouldn't know what to expect going in here because I've only ever tried Ace Beauty eyeshadow palettes. I've never tried the liquid lips before and the lipsticks. And this so far is very, very impressive to me and it's so affordable it's so affordable man okay guys so i only have two lip glosses there's three but I, I was only sent two which is completely fine with me they do retail for 16 dollars a piece and it says hey lip gloss lover are you ready to pamper your palette with a comfortable formula that hugs your lips in a nourishing hydration your lips will look lavish and are never sticky ultra smooth finish that wears great on its own or layered on your favorite lipstick for a smoother, fuller looking lip. So pucker up and give your lips some love for our Pout Perfect Lip Gloss lineup. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna try is the shade All That, which is going to be a warm nude gloss. Okay, so right here is the shade All That, and I have to start by saying, I do not like the applicator. It's a very weird applicator. It doesn't make applying it to the lips easy in the slightest. Um, it's very weird in shape and I just kind of feel like it doesn't do much in terms of like, you know, pushing the product on the lip and whatnot. So I'm not a fan of the actual applicator. It doesn't have a smell to it at all. And it's very, very, very comfortable. It feels very comfortable, very hydrating. However, it doesn't have this high shine that I'm looking for in terms of a gloss. It doesn't make my lips feel very wet. It doesn't make my lips feel very wet and juicy, which it doesn't really say it's going to. Um, well, it just says a never sticky, ultra smooth finish. So it's not claiming to be ultra high shine and whatnot. So I do appreciate the fact they're being very transparent and honest. And it's very comfortable. It's very comfortable. It doesn't have a smell, doesn't have a taste. I just feel like with this particular formula, this gloss probably doesn't have longevity to it. Like I doesn't seem like it does. It feels like give it a couple hours or eat some food, drink some water, whatever it is you're drinking, that this is definitely going to wear off. It's not going to hold onto lips as long as like other lip glosses out there do, but it's still super comfortable and it definitely does feel very hydrating on the lips. So I do appreciate that factor. I just don't think it has any longevity to it at all. And um, I just feel like you'll have to, this is like one of those products you'll have to kind of reapply throughout the day. So that, you know, that is what it is. That is what it is like it that is what it is there's so many lip glosses that are like that but i just feel like this would definitely not be my favorite lip gloss formula but i don't know if i mentioned this but it does retail for 16 dollars. okay so this is the shade called spicy which is gonna be a sheer coral gloss again nothing too special about the gloss unfortunately i wish i loved it as much as i did the liquid lips and the lipsticks but i don't i think the applicator kind of throws me off and it's, i'm very particular when it comes to lip glosses so it's not really their fault but this is that shade right there. The only shade I don't have is a shade spot on. I do apologize. I was not sent that. So I don't have that, but I will move on to the lip oils. That's the last thing to try out in this collection. I'm kind of excited to see what the lip oil is like because, I, again, I have high standards for lip oils. Okay, last but not least, we do have the shade Awaken, which is going to be their lip oil. And it says that it says, talk about lip service. Finally, a moisturizing lip thirst. Finally, a moisturizing, thirst-quenching, life-giving lip conditioner that leaves your pout looking kissably soft. The Pout Perfect Lip Oil melts into the lips, enhancing the appearance of texture with a smooth, non-sticky glass shine. Drench and adorn your lips in the nourishment they need with this revitalizing lip oil. This actually does retail for $18, so just a little bit more pricier than the actual lip gloss. So I'm really curious to see like how this is. This is... Do you guys fucking see that? Watch what this does. This thing is like shooting lip oil at me. Oh my God, y'all see that? I can't describe it. Like lip oil shot out of it. That's so odd, I've never seen that before. I've never seen a lip oil shoot out of an applicator before. I'm sorry, I got so distracted. <laughs> so this is the lip oil. Um, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. It feels not as hydrating as the actual lip gloss does. It's supposed to melt into the lips, giving appearance of a smooth, non-sticky glass shine. I don't see that glass shine. Like, I don't. 
in the slightest. Um, it just feels like I put on a lip balm. That's just what it feels like. I put on a lip balm, but it's not giving me the shine that I'm looking for. It's not giving me that lip oil, like slipping on his like slippy, like a slip and slide feeling. It's not giving me any of that. It just feels like I put on a hydrating lip balm and that's it. So personally, this one is definitely not my favorite. I do prefer other lip oils over that. It's not bad, but it definitely is not not for me so that is everything in the pout perfect lip collection so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna quickly throw on some makeup i'm gonna come back with my lips done and give you guys my final thoughts on this entire collection but i do want to first and foremost just thank ace beauty for sending this to me in pr this was totally incredible you guys did not have to do that and um so i'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup off camera guys and then i'll be right on back Okay guys, so this is the final look. So I'll have everything I'm wearing on my face listed down below for you guys. So what are my thoughts on the Ace Beauty Pout Perfect Collection? Well, I do have some thoughts. Well, I do have some thoughts. So first off, we do have the lip liners right here. These do retail for $12 a piece. There are four different shades that, there's four different shades that they offer and I would have to say I'm not the biggest fan of the component itself because when you guys, can you guys tell? Like, do you guys see how low that lip liner sits in the actual like packaging? Um, it made it a little difficult to apply my lip liner. I actually went in with the shade, um, nailed it. And you guys can see right there, it kind of like started to crumble just a little bit on me and it's starting to push into the actual like pencil. So I'm not the biggest fan of this component. I don't know if this is gonna be really easy to work with unless I have to sit here and sharpen it. So I do appreciate the fact that it's $12. It definitely does deliver pigment and it was very easy to work with. I'm just not the biggest fan of like the actual like product that the component comes in because like my product seeping into it. So I don't know what's going on with that, but it's not bad at all. Then we have the liquid lips right here. We do have the liquid lips. Now these retail for $17. I do really do, I really do like the packaging. I really think the packaging is very like beautiful. I think it makes it feel very luxurious. It definitely has a nice heavy texture to it. I do really enjoy the fact that there is no scent. So if you are, you know, sensitive to scent, you don't have to worry about that. And I love the shape of the physical wand itself. I think it's really nice. Now, while I was playing with this, I noticed one issue. I will say, that wearing one beige, one shade by itself is really nice. It does dry down. It does have like a mousse like texture, which is something that I'm typically not used to. And it does transfer, but it feels very, very comfortable on the lip, almost like you're wearing a chapstick. But because of the texture and the consistency of this, it does not blend well with other shades. My lips started to peel. I don't know if it's because um, my lips were a little like tender and sore because I did a whole swatch or I was mixing different colors, but mixing three to four different colors on top of each other was not what I expected. It got very peely. A lot of like little tiny chunks came off with it and it just didn't look as beautiful as I liked. It just felt very, very dry and forced. And I like a lipstick and I like a liquid lip that blends very beautifully into other liquid lips I could blend out with my finger. I, it did blend out and it did blend out and I was able to get the shade that I'm looking for however it was not the easiest to work with because of the consistency and the mousse like texture it just was not wanting to work with me very very easily it took me a bit to get it to where it's at I did mix three different shades I mixed the shade applesauce with the shade manifest and the shade on it these three shades right here I did mix it to get the look I'm looking for and then I did put the shade I see on top as a lip gloss and so that's what I'm wearing I'm wearing all four colors on my list today and I really really wanted to love the liquid lip formula because at first wearing it by itself was super super nice but then like I said when I mixed it with other liquid lips in their collection it just got a really weird texture it was just like peeling and little tiny little flakes kept flaking off and it was getting all over my lip and it just wasn't enjoyable to work with and that's not something I'm looking for when it comes to liquid lip I think where them by themselves is perfect but I would recommend don't try to mix them with other colors just because you'll have a little bit of a mess in your hand it's easy to it's easy to clean up and you can still get the look that you're looking for and you can still get the look that you're trying to achieve however you just have to work at it just a little bit more so that's what makes me kind of be like mm, I'm not really sure because I do prefer other brands where it's a lot easier to work with and I don't have to deal with like this type of peelingness whatever but the colors are absolutely beautiful the shade range is beautiful the price point's really nice and i love wearing it by itself just mixing it is a little bit of an issue now i will say i think that the lipsticks themselves 
Oh my God, I freaking love these lipsticks. These lipsticks are freaking gorgeous. These are gorgeous ass lipsticks. I really do love the formula. They're so hydrating, they're so comfortable, and they have a nice high shine to them. This gives me what I'm looking for in terms of a gloss and a liquid lip mixed into one. And I never ever say that about lipsticks because I'm not the biggest fan of lipsticks. If you guys have seen any of my reviews, you guys have heard me say that. But I really freaking love the formula on this. I think it's great. I think the formula on this component is wonderful. I love the shade range. They have some beautiful deep chocolate browns. I think the lipsticks are the star of the show. I really do enjoy those lipsticks. And I think if you're going to get anything from the collection, I highly recommend checking out the lipsticks because they are phenomenal. Then we do have the two lip glosses. There's nothing wrong with lip glosses at all. They are very comfortable. I just don't really like the shape of the component because it's that really weird round shape. So I'm not really sure like how I'm supposed to like put that on unless I stick my lip between it, like in between my lip, like you know, I'm not really sure how it works. And um, it's definitely non-sticky at all. It definitely does, definitely does give me a shine, but I don't think it's like wowing. Same thing with the actual like lip oil. I don't really care for this lip oil. It doesn't give me what I'm looking for in terms of lip oil at all, but it's still very comfortable. So I can appreciate that. I can appreciate the comfortability of these, the hydrating properties, how my lips feel very moisturized wearing them. But there are definitely some things in here that I'm not the biggest fan of compared to other brands. So overall i am extremely grateful to ace beauty for sending me this entire line this was so much fun to sit back and swatch the products i think like i said the star of the show is the lipsticks you guys definitely have to check them out i'm just very grateful that this brand sent these to me for you to try out i'm very appreciative so thank you so much ace beauty for gifting these to me i'm sorry i didn't love everything but i'm just being honest there are some things that i love about this collection there's some things that i just don't love so yeah guys that is it for today's video guys i really do hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already because i do post four to five videos a week make sure you guys head over to my other channels r for the life where you guys get to see my cool wonderful adventures my amazing husband Corey, and as always a huge thank you goes to all these beautiful wonderful patron members you guys see right here thank you guys so much for everything and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for being here whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys I subscribed you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll definitely see you guys very next video bye like pout their pout lipstick collection it's been a long time since i sat down and like done like a perfect it's been okay so here are how okay so here are the lip liners right here first fit and truly like it won't really probably fit in really nice okay guys the reason why i do this video with no makeup on is because whenever i tend to do a full like a lot like okay guys so whenever i do this video i tend okay guys per spot followed by the shade pariah followed by the shade um followed by the shade priority followed by the shade per Followed by the shade. <laughs> Followed by the shade. Oh my God. Not priority. Priority. Followed by the shade. These are actually like everyday wearing lips from like, these are perfect everyday wear neutral.